bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank for you. For if it had not been for the mercy of Almighty God, where would we be this morning? Thank you, Lord. He woke us up this morning. He brought us here this morning. None of us didn't have any accident. We came here safely. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We did not see the unseen this morning. And so we thank God this morning for all the and for his mercies, Thank you, Lord. which we receive daily. Amen. Yesterday's mercies is gone. Yesterday's goodness is gone. Thank you, Lord. But we receive them daily. Hallelujah. One who sometimes has said, morning by morning, new mercies I see. Amen. And all I have needed, the hands of God has provided. Hallelujah. Even when it looks as if there was no way, God made a way. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus.
holy name of Jesus. Holy Sabbath, I invite you to Clifton Thompson. I pray that 
that the anointing will fall on us this morning. I pray that the anointing will move in this place like never before this morning. I pray that your presence will move through this boat this morning like never before this morning. God, I pray today that I can come and report to our heart, report our spirit of what you are filling us afresh. We need God. We need your grace. We need your strength. And I pray that this time for control this morning. I pray, God, that you look down and put the faith and praise in us this morning, God. And I pray that you send a anointing this morning. Your anointing, mighty God, that can make the difference. Your anointing that will change the atmosphere. Your anointing that will make our life different. Your anointing that will see you different. Your anointing that will worship different. Your anointing that will pray different. Your anointing that will fast different.
Lord, I've come to one.
Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus.
Church. Our scripture will be taken from Psalms 150, verses 1 to 6. I will be reading this alone. Praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp, praise him with the tremble and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We will honor the scripture by saying, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, and as now is the beginning, and now it shall be, and without end. Amen. We will have our worship and giving by Minister Deacon Howden. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everything that has Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is to be praised. Amen. Amen. God is to be praised. He is holy, he is righteous, he is wonderful, he is majestic, he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time it's worship in giving. And we are going to praise the Lord with our giving. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God gave us his only begotten son. Hallelujah. He didn't hold back. Yes. He gave us his all. Amen. And he expects us to honor him also in giving. Amen. So we're going to do just that. When we give unto the Lord, we're making our investment in heaven. Yeah. Amen? Yes, God. Thank if that's you, let me hear amen. 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 Hallelujah. And we cannot all give to God. Amen. Because God owns everything and He allows us to use yeah. some wow. things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So let's honor the Lord with our giving. Hallelujah. Will you stand with your tithes and offering? And remember that we are, we have a target to reach each Sunday. So I hope you are prepared to give a little extra so that we can meet our target. Amen. And invite those on social media to participate with us at this time. Hallelujah. There are ways coming up on the screen that you can give. So please support Word of Faith and Praise Ministries. We need Hallelujah. your support. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please stand. Hallelujah, Jesus. Almighty God and our Savior, we thank you, Lord, for bringing us into your house one more Sunday. We thank you for your faithfulness and your grace towards us. We thank you, Lord God, that you sit high and you look low. You are here, there, and everywhere. And in our midst today, Lord, we thank you, God, for the service so far. <coughs> Mighty God, we thank you that you give us the strength, oh Lord, last week to go out and come back into our homes. We thank you, oh God, as this week is before us, you are going out before us, and you are making the crooked path straight. My God. Mighty God, we thank, thank you, oh you, God, Lord. that thank you your thank blessings you, will shadow us everywhere we go. Yes. We thank you, Father, for the good health, yes. wisdom, yes. knowledge, yes. understanding, yes. mighty God. Yes. You alone 
are worthy, Father. And we just give you thanks. And fathers, we are about to give back a portion of what you have blessed us with. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise that as we stretch our hands, mighty God, it will be a blessing unto you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank for you, Lord. Health and strength, Amen. for food and for shelter, for raiment, yes, for all good gifts, mighty God, that comes from above. Yes, yes, we Lord. praise and worship your holy name. And to say thanks in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise the live chorus and please come from the back. Every time I turn around, God keeps blessing me. Please come from Every God. time Please I turn God. around, God keeps blessing me. Every time I turn around, God keeps blessing me. Pastor, to come with the announcements.
Glory to God. It's time for the announcement. But before I go into the detailed announcement, I know we just sat down. But could you stand on your feet for me for a quick minute and let us acknowledge our Deacon Patrick Williams, who has celebrated 83 years of life this past Wednesday. Put your hands together and let us acknowledge this. Just one? Okay, just one. Okay, so one candidate so far. 
um, come on out and let us go down and be in support. Amen? Amen. Okay, today, men Sunday, the men's um, initiative is with, um, they do loose change in those building barrels. And uh, if you have yours today, you know you have to turn it over to Brother Patrick or the men because that's your building fund initiative. Amen? Amen. And the last but not least, next Sunday, 9 24 will be our pastor's appreciation service. Amen? Can I hear a hip hip? Can I hear an array? First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 12 and 13. It said, We ask you, brethren, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Amen? Amen. Because Amen. of their work. And you and I can attest that our Pastor Andrew, our Lady Patrice, they work. Amen? Amen. They go above and beyond that description of a pastor. Amen? Amen. You, some pastors, you have to make an appointment. Some pastor, you can't even see them until Sunday. Some pastor, you don't know what is going on. But I can tell you that these pastors in this house, they are genuine. Amen? They are genuine men and women of God. Amen? Amen. And so we bless God. Sunday, we, you know what it is, annually, we implore you to bring a gift, because you, I, I, was, I was thinking this week, you know, I know I need to hurry, I know Saul, that scripture came to me, Saul had lost his donkeys, uh -huh. and Saul was looking for his donkeys, yes, and I up. think someone said to him, let's go see, let's go to the man of God, That's you right. know, so, because, you know, he has knowledge, he can tell us. Right. Where are these donkeys? Maybe. Amen. And Saul, before he goes to that man of God, uh -huh. he didn't go with his empty hand. No, he he brought it. a gift. Yes. And that spoke volume to me. Amen. You know, sometimes we just run upon the man and the woman of God. Sometimes we not even say hello. We come with our need, pastor. My God. You know, lady, sister. But we are to bring. It is yeah. honorable. Amen. Amen. Honoring is honorable. And so I want to implore us. Yeah. Our pastor who has been serving us, I think, for the last 13 years yeah. or so. This next Sunday, we are going to honor the man and woman of God. We have also invited Pastor West and Lady West, who will not acknowledge them too. He's our assistant pastor. Amen. He's not been here because of work, but he's a part of us. But we're honoring our pastor and our Lady Patrice Edwards. Amen. You know what your assessment is? If you can do that or above. And come with your words of um, expression. Come with your thought. Come and let this man and woman be encouraged. Know that we, you know, we, we, we thank them for what they are doing. Amen? So next week, Sunday, we are going to have a nice little program where we're going to honor the man and woman of God. And then after that, we're going to have our celebratory dinner where we sit right here around the table and we eat and we serenade them. So make plans to bring out your family. Amen? Because yeah. you're not going home to cook. Make plans to be here so we can encourage them. Eh? You know, many pastors are sad you know, Many pastors have given up. Many pastors want to throw it in. Amen? Oh my, but... My these men and women, they are doing a great work. Amen? Yes, no, amen. And we just want to encourage them. We My just want to let them know how we love them. We just want to let them know that we are here for you to hold up your hands. Amen? amen. So I implore us, come on out in your numbers next week and let us have a cat a wampus time as our deceased bishop would say, in the presence of the Lord with these men and women. Amen? amen. Glory to God. These are the announcements. Please bear them in mind. At this time, we are going to call on our pastor, Andrew Edwards, as he comes with the announcement. Put your hands together and acknowledge the man of God at this time. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. So good to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I joined with the psalmist David, and that said, I was glad when it said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The psalmist says, Let everything that have breath. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We could have it could be another way for for us today, but we are in the house of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. So while we're in the land of the living, why don't we give an expression of praise? Expression of praise. Yeah. It was last year, last year this time, I think we were put into rest a family member. But we are thankful to God that we have life. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Somebody give God praise. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm a little bit under the weather. Um, this week I got a bug, but um, I'm here giving God praise. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I could have stayed home, but I uh, pushed it out to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. Amen. We have a guest in our midst, a veteran in the kingdom. Amen. He's a man of God who pioneered works uh, while he is serving in the South Florida area and in Florida, the state of Florida. Amen. He is uh, Sister Hamilton's cousin. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are thankful to have him as a friend of the ministry over the years. He has been a friend of our uh, my deceased father, Bishop Sidney Edwards. And he has continued to keep that bond together with myself and the ministry. Amen. Amen. And we're so happy that he, he called mm. right on time. <laughs> because um, I don't know how I would manage to preach today. Amen. But Lord, the Lord had a lamb, a ram, a ram, caught in the ticket. Yes, <laughs> Amen. Amen. To bring forth, thus said the Lord. And so we have with us uh, Bishop Michael Gentles. Yes, Amen. He is an ordained minister of the gospel. To the church of God and we are so happy that he's here to bring forth a word to encourage us as we go on amen amen it's been 27 years we are coming to 27 years of ministry in the South Florida area and we um we, we are continuing to uphold the name of Jesus here and um we just want to let the social media platform know we don't have a church home. We are here. Yeah. Our doors are still open. Amen. Many churches are closing their doors. Can't go, but we are pushing on. Amen. 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 As a small ministry, we have been a small ministry over the years, but God has been um, able to sustain us. Uh, whatever, you know, sustain the ministry. And um, we are able to be a firebrand in the South Florida region. Amen. We have a great bunch of uh, believers who are loyal to the ministry over the years. Amen. We have some foundation stones that are still in the ministry. We have kids who have grown up. We have kids who have been married in this ministry. And we are keeping the fort. Amen. Praise God. Why? So before uh, Bishop Michael Gentles come to bring the word, we have a faithful uh, minister of a psalmist in the house, Clifton Thompson, Amen. will be coming to bring on the speaker. Uh, when he is finished ministering, we want you to stand and honor the God that is in this great man of God. Um, Bishop Michael Gentles, amen, as he comes. Somebody give God praise. Amen. And don't be a, a Presbyterian church today. Don't be a Roman Catholic church today. No, we're we are Pentecostal amen. in flavor. So we love to make noise. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yes, All ye lands serve the Lord with what? Gladness. Gladness. Come before his presence with? Sing it. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. our God. It is He that have made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pastures. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving, 
and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. And what? Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercies are everlasting. And his truth endureth for what? Throughout all generations. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for Sunday school and thank God for for the Sunday school. For our deacon was celebrated 83 years. Amen. 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 Praise God. We salute you, sir. Amen. We pray that God will continue to bless your latter years. Amen. That he will continue to bring forth fruit in your older, in your older age. Amen. Amen. And that's what he's doing. Amen. Amen. He's bringing forth fruit. Amen. As he continues to serve. Amen. Amen. All right. God bless us. Uh, let's welcome Minister Clifton Thompson at this time to minister the, the song. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Bless the name of the Lord, Lord to God. You know, we serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a God who always there. Even when you don't see him, he's always there. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Since since I started for the kingdom, since my life he
Jumped into the scripture, yeah. but he waited. Yeah. 
That says a whole lot right there. That tells me you are about 16. Yes, sir, right on. Wow. See? There you go. Amen. 16. Wow. Amen. Amen. And he's sensitive yes. to Glory. the spirit of God. Praise God. Last night I dreamt see my mother. Mm. And I would Jean can tell you that that she loved to smile. And she just smiled, looking at me. Walking, looking and smiling. She did not say a word. She just smiled. Amen. I don't know what that means. It probably means I'm doing something right. Amen. Let me greet uh, with the Jean also and her husband in, in his absence, they treat me like their son, their brother, friend. Oh, okay. All right. Sister Hamilton. Sister okay. So the cat is out of the bag. Amen. I, I want to share a word with you today. Okay. The um, Lord. And it's taken from Acts chapter 1. Wow. And I will we'll be reading from verse 9. Mm. It's always good to be in the house of the Lord. Yeah. And it's always a beautiful spirit to be here. I greet also the, today's men's day, right? Yes. Okay. I greet also the men's president and, and his group and all the ministers. Amen. Greetings. Yes. I'll give you a joke. I don't know if it's a joke really, but uh, there's a church in, in, in Brooklyn that I minister quite a few times. And, um, <laughs> but the pastor was telling me that um, one of the deacons said to him, I trembled when I saw Pastor Gentle is up there going to preach on Men's Sunday. So you don't have to tremble. <laughs> Men. Yeah. Because he's always hitting us. Amen. But, but God have ordained men and placed them into a wonderful, outstanding position. Okay. Acts chapter 1 verse 9 says, Now when he had spoken these things. While they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him. I want you to underline that word cloud. A cloud uh, received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, Galilee. Men of Galilee, yes. men of praise and worship, okay. word, of faith, of praise. word of faith and praise, praise ministry. Uh -huh. Why do you stand gazing up into heaven? Yeah. 
This same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Father, you promise that your word shall not return unto you void. But it shall go forth and accomplish that which you please. So we, we sit before you right now waiting for this word. That you are prepared for this hour. Give us receptive heart, a receptive spirit to receive your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the topic I would like to talk on today, what are you gazing at? What are you gazing at? Jesus' disciples had passed through what you would call a whirlwind. They had seen him beaten, rejected, nailed on a, a cross, died, and rose again. As a matter of fact, the cross to which he died on was meant for him. The Romans, they built this cross for capital punishment for all notorious murderers and criminals and thieves and blasphemers. We are in that, <laughs> that Jesus feel in. No. He did not. Fill in, into those category. Amen. He was a sinless man and Lamb of God. Yes. You see that they crucify him because he told them that he was the Son of God. And to them, that's blaspheming that a, 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 a boy from Nazareth out of a poor family. So they consider that to be a, a blaspheming. So he was crucified and the, the reason for that, because they thought and they believed that he's blaspheming. So on that day, uh, all the disciples' dreams and hopes came crushing to the ground. They hid themselves away in fear of suffering the same faith Jesus had experienced. But three days after Jesus died, he appeared to them alive and well. Alive again while they were hiding, he appeared unto them. Then Jesus took them aside and began to teach them some truth that they desperately needed to know. Amen. 
he tells them that he is going away and he is leaving his work, his ministry in their hands. And I could hear Peter say, oh, 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 just a minute there, Rabbi, Jesus, you need to think about this. We are not ready. From the very moment you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are ready. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not ready. They needed to know what the Lord expects of them. And he taught them. They needed to know what they were to be doing. And the Lord taught, taught them. He did not send them out there without information. My Lord. But he taught them and also we're getting ready to empower them. After spending 40 days with Jesus, after his resurrection, the disciples were standing with him on the Mount of Olives. Jesus gives them some final word of instruction. Okay. Amen. Amen. And verse 5 and verse 4, we find the final word of instruction. Mm -hmm. yes. And being assembled yes. together yes. with them, mm -hmm. he commanded. Mm -hmm. I like that word commanded. Sometimes you have to command some things in a pastor. Mm -hmm. Uh, we pastors have to command some things mm. to get done. Mm. And somebody has to put some muscle mm. into it. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. Amen. Okay. I'm sorry, I need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, yeah. but to wait for the promise yes. of the Father. Yeah. And what was the promise? The Holy Spirit's Holy Spirit. power. Oh, yeah. Yes, God. Glory. From the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. Yeah. For John truly baptized you with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. My God. He instruct them, stay in Jerusalem. Mm. Yes. Don't go anywhere. Because in Jerusalem, that's where God is going to send the promised spirit, Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This is God has a plan in mind. <laughs> you gotta have a plan. Yes. <laughs> a spiritual plan. Yeah. A plan for the church. Mm. A plan for the family. Mm. A plan for work. For and a plan for your life. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Then while they were watching him, he began to, to rise up and ascending into heaven. Wow, amen. Suddenly, he was taken up away from them, from their presence. Yes. Amen. Somebody said, gravity suddenly lost its power uh -huh. over Jesus. Gravity could not hold him anymore. 
Amen. It was time for him to go. And he began to ascend up into the sky until he was disappeared in a cloud. You remember I asked you to underline that word cloud. That maybe is Bible study today. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. So he disappeared into a cloud. Yes, sir. Notice that he did not say in the cloud. Mm. But he said a cloud. Yes. You know what that means? Mm. That, that means that that was a personal mm -hmm. cloud. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said special. A special cloud that came to to take him back. Okay. He said the cloud wasn't that tropical rain cloud okay. that you see comes up before the rainfall. Mm. <laughs> but this cloud Somebody said this cloud. This cloud. This cloud refers to a glory cloud. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory that came from the very presence of the Almighty God. This cloud came from uh, in and around the presence of the Almighty God. As a matter of fact, God sent this cloud yes, sir. to get his son. My God. My Lord. Mm. Oh Lord. My God. Oh hallelujah. Why did God do that? Because God, because Jesus Christ, he did everything that God asked him to do. So this is my beloved son. Amen. As the word said. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. So God sent a special transportation. Yes, sir. My <laughs> God, you're going somewhere. Hey, hey, hey. To take him home because he full fill the promise he fulfill yes, yes. his command yes. he fulfill everything that God had asked him to do yes, he came down here and put on human flesh yes, sir. somebody say he placed himself in the womb of a woman uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. And after nine months and a couple of days, <laughs> he was born in a manger. Yeah. Sir. Am I right? Yes, sir. Are you Christmas people? God incarnate. He was born in a manger. Yes. Somebody said there was no room in the inn. Yes, sir. After nine months. Yes, sir. Then he will place on a cross. Uh -huh. He placed himself on a cross. Jesus placed himself on the cross. Uh -huh. Jesus placed himself on the cross. On the cross. Yeah. Could I say that one more, one yeah. more time? Yes. It sounds good. Yes. Jesus placed himself. On the cross. But I thought it was the Romans who did that. He laid down his life. <laughs> no. Jesus placed himself Amen. on the cross. And then he came off the cross and placed himself in a borrowed tomb. It was not only a tomb, but it was a borrowed tomb. Uh -huh. Amen. And guess what? He did that. For you. 
and for me. Somebody said he gave his life for you and for me. Jesus, the sweet Nazarene. Amen. Hallelujah. Somewhere in glory. And oh, you know, Father, Sister Sophia, don't sing these songs anymore. Is Sister Sophia? Can we still sing? Okay. Somewhere in glory, his face. I shall see. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. The sweet Nazarene. Yes. Oh, how about that grounds to come? So let me hurry. After Jesus ascends into heaven, his disciples looked steadfastly towards heaven, gazing up into heaven. Hallelujah. And I can just imagine they are saying to themselves, I don't believe this, that he really gone. I don't believe this, that he really gone away from us. Hallelujah. But the angel said to them, Hallelujah. Why are you gazing up into heaven? They send Jesus. Send Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. That you see going up here. That's gone up in that cloud. Uh -huh. He shall come back. Yes. One of these days. My Lord. It was said that. That the word. Looked steadfastly. And gazing. Are the same words. It means. To fasten one eye upon our to look intensely yes, sir. at something or someone uh -huh. something or someone yes. that means that they were transfixed their eyes and Jesus Man. as he ascended back into heaven My notice the word back yes well, that tells you that he was there before. Hallelujah. Somebody said he was there all the time, waiting patiently. He was there when God said, Let us make man. Oh, hallelujah. I think he was a part of the committee. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh, yes. I think he was a part of that committee yes, sir. that said, let us make man. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. He was there all the time. Amen. 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 Jesus told them many times, hallelujah, that it would happen. But they did not believe. But now it happened. Yes. There are Wondering, what are we gonna do? My Lord. Who is gonna heal the sick? Who is gonna raise the dead? My mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is gonna turn water into wine? Yes. Who is gonna call that Lazarus from the dead? Guess who? You and I. <laughs> we are yes, the ones. They're going to do that. Right Amen. Just transfix looking and gazing of the disciples into heaven suggests that they were looking worried. Oh. My God. Looking worried and frustrated. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, uh, there's a song that I think uh, the one of the English group sing this song. You got that worried look upon your face. Is the first one hearing that? Yes, sir. You ever heard that song before? No, sir. Oh, yeah. The deacon. No? Oh, my God. 
I came into the church in 1976. I was 21 years old, so I hear that song. You have that worried look upon your face. You have your troubles, I got mine. They had that worried look upon their faces because Jesus Christ left them. And they're worrying about it. Hallelujah. Amen. And that suggests a look of sadness. Amen. Hallelujah. Helplessness. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bewilderment. Astonishment. And broken hearted. They were being broken hearted because their savior, their master, oh. their deliverer. Yeah. went back to heaven. Mm. Hallelujah. He went back to heaven. Yes. And they were broken hearted. They were sad. They were discouraged. They were frustrated. Hallelujah. But all we need to do is to use up that which God has given unto us. Amen. And what was that? Power. The power of a service. Yes, sir. Because he said, you shall receive power. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Perhaps that, that's one of the main reasons the, the two men, hallelujah, said to them, why stand ye gazing? Why are you standing gazing up into heaven? These men have spent, hallelujah, three and a half years with Jesus and still can't get it right. My Lord. You've been saved for many years and you still can't get it right. Hello? Amen. You need to get it right. Somebody said you better get right with God. Come and do it right now, today, this very moment. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, they were helpless. Hallelujah, they could not get it right. Amen. For the disciples, the ascension of Jesus back into heaven changed everything. My Lord. For the last, for the last three years, they, these men spent nearly every moment with Jesus. With Jesus. Amen. They had left family, friends, and business to follow him. Yes. And now he is gone. And they don't know what to do. Amen. You don't know what to do. All you have to do is tap into, hallelujah, that which God had given unto you. Paul said to Timothy, stir up the gift Amen. that is within you. Hallelujah. God did not give us a spirit of fear, Amen. of doubt, but of a sound mind. My Lord. Amen. Amen. Stir up the gift. Because God is counting on us. Amen. The gift was given not to enjoy yourself. <laughs> You know, some people just enjoy themselves in church in the spirit. Huh? My Lord. It's not for enjoyment, but it's to go and win souls for the kingdom. Amen. Amen. So they left everything to follow him. So the Lord, the Lord's departure left the disciples confused, concerned. I'm worried. Amen. Worried about it. Let's look at uh, there are three reasons with why Jesus had to go back to heaven. Okay. Three reasons. Number one, if he did not go back, the spirit wouldn't come. Wouldn't come. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Number one, if he did not go back to heaven, the spirit of promise would never show up. John 
St. John chapter uh, uh, 16 and verse 7 says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, somebody said helper. The helper, the helper will not come to you. Amen. So it's for your advantage that I go. Yes, sir. Amen. And after he left, get there, here comes the helper. Mm -hmm. You see, these men did not believe they could function without Jesus. So Jesus got to leave something, someone, amen, to help them, to help them. Somebody said, I have somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel his presence near me every day. Don't try and overtake me. Along my weary road, I have somebody with me all the way. Hallelujah. But when Jesus leaves and the Holy Spirit comes, he will empower them. They were being empowered for service. Yes, they were being empowered with the power of the Almighty God. Amen. Power to lead them. Power to guide them. Power to help them power to comfort them and power to instruct them hallelujah of what to do hallelujah some people the Holy Spirit is leading them and they not realize what's going on amen the Holy Spirit he guides he guides your step hallelujah some the, the scripture said there is a there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But sometimes the Holy Spirit is guiding you and you're not picking up on it. Like this morning, four o'clock, I was rehearsing that song. And there comes Minister Thompson singing that same song. Is here to instruct you. Amen. Amen. Listen to the Holy Spirit when he speaks. Amen. My Lord. Hallelujah. Does he speak to me about spiritual things only? No. He can speak to you to love your husband, love your wife, take care of your children. Don't put that socks there. Don't put that t-shirt there. Don't put that shoes there. I'm speaking out of experience. <laughs> hallelujah. The second reason, Jesus, hallelujah, went back to heaven. Hallelujah. Is for to make intercession for you and me. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He went back to make intercession for you and for me. Thank God Jesus is there. Yes. Making intercession Thank you, Lord. for you and for me. Yes, Lord. I don't know about you, but I messed up so many times. My God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But Jesus is there. Mercy, mercy. And so take care to take care of that. My Lord. Amen. Amen. He's there to make intercession for you, to pardon you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. He, the, the scripture said that he's sitting on the right, yes. right hand yes. of the Father. Yes. The right hand is seen as a place of honor yes. and status. Hallelujah. This is throughout the Bible. Hallelujah. When it says Christ sits at the right hand of the Father. It is affirming that the, he has equal rights, equal status, 
equal rights, equal status Amen. to within the Godhead. Yeah. He has equal rights. But you want to call him the Holy Spirit, uh, God, uh, Jesus, uh, just the same. Mm. Amen. Whatever uh, you feel like calling him. But he is at the right hand. Mm. Making intercession for you. The third reason Jesus went back to heaven. Hallelujah. Is so that he could return. Amen. The third reason he went back to heaven so that he could return. Yes. Hallelujah. Return as the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Return back to earth to get us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Return to get us out of this troubled and worried world. Amen. Before he went to the cross, he promised that he would return for his people. Yes, amen. 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 He promised that he will return. Revelation chapter 22 uh, and verse 20 says, Jesus said, uh, Surely I'll come quickly. Yes. Amen. To take you back. Because, hallelujah, things are getting rough. Things are getting out of hand. Men are married to men. Women are married to women. Hallelujah. There are a whole lot of mixed marriages and exchange marriages and, hallelujah, exchange partners. Hallelujah. That is going on in our world today. Mm. Drive on uh, prior out of school. Mm. Hallelujah. Prior and the world and school is getting messed up today. Children, oh hallelujah, are experiment with gun and stuff like that. So come back soon, God. Yeah, even so, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Praise God. He's going to come quickly. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Jesus said, I will come back for you. But just before he comes, just before Jesus gets back here on earth, he has left us with some elements, some words, some, some nuggets to keep us, to keep us on the straight and narrow. He will never leave us comfortless. But he said, I will be with you until the very end of the world. Amen. So he left us with some stuff to keep us, to preserve us. The Apostle Paul said, I live. I live, but not I that live, but the Christ that lives in me. And therefore, Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3 says, We all, we have all things that pertain unto life and godliness right here, right now. We have all of that to keep us. Hallelujah. And also, we are partakers of the divine nature of Christ according to 2 Peter 1 and verse 4. Mm. We are partakers of God's or Christ's divine nature. Mm. When you accept Christ in the life, you are now become partakers yes. of his yes. divine nature. Yes. So you don't have, we don't have to sin. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the scripture said, John said, sin not. But if you sin, there's an advocate with the Father. Oh, you all going to stand close. We have divine power 
and anointing in the Holy Spirit right here, right now. <laughs> and so we have divine power and anointing in the Holy Spirit right here, right here in this church. All they have to do is just copy in. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Right. We have love, joy, peace, happiness, and righteousness My God. in the Holy Spirit Amen. right here, right now. Amen. Romans 14 and verse uh, 17. We have victory and freedom ah. from bondage of sin right here, yeah, right. right now. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. You see these things Christ gives us to keep us? Yeah. So we have no excuse. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Amen. We are more than conquerors in all things right here, right now. Romans 8, 37. More than conquerors. You know why you are, we are more than conquerors? Because we have been empowered yeah. by the Holy Spirit. That's it. We are more than conquerors. We have something to fight the enemy. Hallelujah. I'm coming down. Amen. We have an understanding of the mystery of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, of God's will, right here, right now. Amen. And that's, you know what that is? That is discerning. Mm. Praise God. Amen. The spirit of discerning. It's in the church, you know. Yes. And sometimes, and most of the time, we have it and we know, but we refuse to use it. Yes. I told you it was going to be a teaching today. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have God's divine guidance right here, right now, to keep us. Somebody said, He's all over me. You can tell I'm a you see, I'm a 69-year-old Christian. Don't I look good for 69? Amen. Amen. So I know all his old song. He's all over me and he's keeping me alive. Me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Hallelujah. We have divine security from, from God right here, right now. We have divine security. Parents, grandparents, uh, whoever you are, just pray over your kids and send them out to school. My Lord. Because the, 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 uh, the school becoming a madhouse. Yes. Becoming a fear. Mm -hmm. And it's a part of the devil. Yes, it is. And he started it many years ago. Yeah. When they voted out the Bible and prior out of, the, out of the school. Then what do you expect? Uh, if you leave the gate open, you know what we're going? Just about anything, anything. will crawl in. Ah. Yes. Oh, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. So we have God's divine security. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the Psalm 91 said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. Almighty. Of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. So we don't have any excuse. God. God has given us all these nuggets, all these words, all these instruction, information to keep us while we are here. My Lord. Hallelujah. Praise while we are still here. My nephew, which is 68 year old, how could that be? I'm 69 and he's 68. Oh, hallelujah. Passed away a couple of days ago. Amen. And he gone 
on the other side, I hope. But God is able. God has given us all this thing to keep us. Hallelujah. Now, so when he comes back, he will reward us for our faithfulness. Oh, hallelujah. When he comes back, he will take care of us. Oh, hallelujah. And the scripture, and there, there are some scriptures here to prove it. Hallelujah. The Bible talk about the, the, the spiritual, our eternal inheritance. The spiritual inheritance that when we go back with him, we will receive. Second Corinthians, uh, uh, seven more minutes, Pastor. Second Corinthians, uh, four verse seventeen says, "For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, Hallelujah, is working for us a far more exceeding, Hallelujah, an eternal weight of glory. Our light affliction, Hallelujah, Pastor." This is not light. You don't know what I'm going through. So you can't call it light. I did not call it light. Uh, Paul called it light. But in comparing to, to what you will receive. Right, that's right. Oh, right. hallelujah. hallelujah. It is light. My Lord. Glory to God. Yeah. Revelation 21. Hallelujah. And verse 2. It says, Then I, John, saw the holy city and new Jerusalem coming out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God is setting up, will set us up when we are faithful and wait. Somebody say, wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. And in Revelation 21 and verse 4, and God will wipe away all tears. Hallelujah. Every tears from your eyes. From their eyes. There shall be no more. Hallelujah. Death. Oh, hallelujah. No sorrow. No crying. Hallelujah. There shall be no more pain. No more arthritis pain. Oh, Lord Jesus. No more financial pain. My Lord. Mm. For the, the former things have passed away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, it is very important to wait. One of these days. Hear the psalmist. The psalmist in Psalm 31 and verse 19. Oh, how great is your goodness. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Who is he talking to? Praise God. The Almighty God. Oh, yeah. Are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. He said, Oh, how great is your goodness. Isn't that that good? Uh -huh. <laughs> he allowed Deacon to, to live to see 83 years. Isn't that a good God? Amen. And don't leave out his effort. Two, because if he was living any and anyhow, then he couldn't live to see so long. My Lord. So the human effort have a part to play in it. I want to say amen. Yeah. Oh, it's time to close. Oh, how, how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you. And the word fear they mean to trust. Believe you. Worship you. Hallelujah. Accept you. Amen. Amen. Laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you in the presence of the Son of Man. Son of man, we are the sons and daughters of man. Hallelujah. 
Can we do? Can I do one more? No, amen. Hallelujah. One more. Reverend St. John chapter 14 and verse 1. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. Mm. Hello? Amen. Anybody out there? Amen. Any troubled heart out there? Amen. Hallelujah. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. The word let there means. Don't allow, don't allow your heart to be troubled. You see, you control your heart, you know. Oh, hallelujah. You want to watch over your heart. Oh, hallelujah. The, the Bible said, the heart of a man is desperately wicked. Yes. Who can know it? Yes, yes. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, yes. believe also in me, in my Father's house. Hallelujah. A many mansion. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. For you. For you. For you. And if I go and prepare a place, for you are, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. Where I am, there you will be also. I don't care where he is. All I know, I want to be where he is. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So why gazing? Why get out that worried look upon your face? My Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and trust Jesus. Amen. Because any minute now, oh Lord. Any minute now, Amen. any day now, he shall burst that cloud and come for us. Mm. Hallelujah. I just feel led to, to say something here. That's going to be very strong. Have you come to the place in your spiritual life? If you should, if we should depart from this world like my nephew did, will you be ready to go to heaven and join me? with Jesus. The next question. What if you should stand before the Almighty God? Stand at heaven's gate and he should ask you, why should I let you into my heaven? What will you say? Hallelujah. I'm going to leave that answer to you. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand or to come up here. But think about it. Amen. It is something for us and all of us to ponder upon. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your patience. Amen. Amen. But you know, there was one word I have for this sister over here. I'm going to hand over to, my, to the microphone. 
There is a word I have for you. Pastor, you know what I, you know what I am? I discovered the other day, a couple of years out, um, that a, a job, a work is different from a job. A work is different from a job. You want me to explain it? I think that's the same thing you are going through. Let me explain it. A job is what you study for to become. And a work is what you were born with to do. Is that gift that God has blessed you with. And somehow, as I, the Holy Spirit bring it to me, and, and I think you're probably going through that. Amen. There's a lot of people frustrated right now is because they are doing a job and not a work. Did you, did you remember the, the, the saying in Jamaica that when chicken got big, you saw it on foot? I'm not asking the pastor because he's too young for that. <laughs> Let me give you one example and I'm closing. When I was a kid coming up, still looked like a kid. We used to have children in church. And guess who used to be the pastor? And I love it because you get the prettiest girl. All right, come back, gentles. <laughs> A work is different from a job. I don't know what, which one, where you are. But I hope and trust that you'll find the right one. And I have a feeling you've been frustrated because you are not in the right one. I pray for you. that she had in mind. Don't know if she's carrying it out right now. And she'll probably need help with it. Yeah. I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll open up doors. Doors, Lord. And when you open a door, no one Nobody can shut it. Now open doors, an open door means opportunity. I pray you create opportunity for her in the name of Jesus. Papa 
Which one you think that will help her family? Oh Lord. Whether her immediate family are her siblings are mother and father or whoever. In the name of Jesus, that that door, that door, that door, oh Lord, the door of opportunity will open for her. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord. Father, there upon the people, other people around in this congregation that are doing a job and not their work. They find themselves practicing nurse when they were young and teacher and pastors and all of the stuff and help them Lord understand that it's not too late for them to fulfill their work Lord open doors oh God a open door means to exit or to enter. What, whichever one fits, Lord, I pray that you will do it for them. Bless this church continually, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, as Pastor said earlier, there are some faithful people. Hallelujah. And I pray, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will draw people from near and far. Even at 25 miles radius. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands and give God praise. It's such a full plate of word. Amen. Well prepared meal that we have received here today. Amen. You just called on Friday and he came with a solid word to encourage our hearts. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Stand on your feet. Amen. As we are about to be dismissed, such a challenge to us <clears throat> at the end of the message. Are we in the right position? Are we doing just a job? Or just a work when God is trying to shift us into gear of our real purpose <clears throat> so that we can be more effective for the kingdom of God? Amen. Praise the name of our Lord. Amen. We thank God for such a sound word. And you shall receive power. Someone say you shall receive power. Shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. To be witness in the earth. Who is going to heal the sick? Who is going to raise the dead? Who is going to touch the blinded eyes for them to be recovered? Amen. We are that generation that will seek the face of God so that the power of God may rest upon us so that we may be the extension of God's hands and feet in the earth today. Amen. Someone say, I have power, I have power. to be the extension of God's hands and feet in the earth today. To extend the ministry of Jesus Christ. Amen. Such a sound word for us to be encouraged as a ministry that God has left us here. We don't need to have a worried face gazing into heaven, wondering what is going to happen next. But He has given us His power 
Amen. To continue the work. Amen. Until he returns. Because he's coming back. This same Jesus shall come in like manner. Amen. I was looking at the clouds and Paul re Paul reiterate and give us the, uh, the, the promise that those who are remain shall be caught up in the clouds. Just as how Jesus was caught up in a cloud. We are going to be caught up in the clouds when we hear the trump of God shall sound. Somebody give God praise for that promise. Amen. Amen. If you die in Christ, you will see him. Amen. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Lord. And for those who are remain when the trump of God shall sound. Hallelujah. We shall be caught up in the clouds. Someone say we shall be caught up in the clouds. Amen. We are waiting and we are working. Amen. I heard Sister Sophia sing the song. We need the anointing. Amen. Just to what? Cleanse and make the whole. The harvest is ripe. ripe. The labors are few. Amen. Lord, I am willing to work for you. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work. I need the anointing. Hallelujah. We need the anointing today. Someone say, I need the anointing. The anointing. Amen. To carry on the work of Jesus Christ. Thank God. Clap your hands for the man of God again. Amen. Amen. We are, I just get, got a note from the financial update and we are a couple hundred dollars short um, of our budget. And when we are short, it, it bites us in the end when it's time for us to um, meet our obligation for the big um, overhead of the rent here. And we are in a transition. What to do if we should downsize as a ministry from here to get something smaller so that while we can afford, or should we go push forward and be workers to keep afloat with what is ahead of us, with a rent increase that is at in, 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 in front of us. We pray that God will open up the doors and give us the right decision, the right answer. Amen. Amen. So that we can lead, be led um, into the right position. Um, so that we can continue the work of God. Amen? Amen. As we wait. Someone say, we wait. We wait. We wait. God is able. Amen? Amen? I mean, I mentioned that we are short. Uh, we were short like $900, $942. If you are able to help us to meet the budget, uh, paid for us to come with a second offering. But, um, wherever position you are, if you can give an extra $50, sell it to us. You know our Zell information, cash out to us. Um, that means that's what, 20 people give $50, amen, to reach the, <coughs> the goal. Um, or just nine person, just give me $100 and we reach the goal, amen. Um, so, Whatever, wherever you are, God can lay down your heart to do so, to meet our budget. Amen. Someone say amen. 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 We are believing God for blessing and increase continually in our lives. Amen. <clears throat> amen. For breakthrough. Someone say breakthrough. Breakthrough. Over the years, we have been just plugging on this theme, breakthrough, acceleration and breakthrough blessing and breakthrough and now we hear the sound of breakthrough for this 27 years amen god is able yes, yes. someone say he's able yes. now and to him that is able to not only keep us from falling but to do exceedingly abundantly yes. above which we are able to ask or think according to the what power. the power that what yes. rests in us yes. amen hallelujah Bless the name of the Lord. Let's just lift up our hands. You are ready for the benediction. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the only wise God be glory 
and dominion both now and forever that the people of God say Amen. Amen. God bless the food that we are about to partake of uh, continue to support the building fund we have savings and we are believing God whenever that transition moment comes we are ready Amen so continue to support the building fund dinner that's there see you on the prayer lines on Monday and in the house on Wednesday depending on the weather here Amen. And we can come back into the house of the Lord to hear the word. Clap your hands and give God praise. Amen. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise as we go. Amen. Thank everyone for coming out today. Thank